Welcome to the Celtic Hearth in downtown St. John's, located in one of the older buildings on Water Street, built back in the 1800s, I believe. You're certainly not going to get bored in this restaurant because there's lots of things to look at, from vintage pictures to vintage collectibles. Hello, I'm Carl Wells, food critic for The Telegram. And I'm Chef Steve Watson of Central Dairies. Steve, this is an Irish-themed restaurant and pub. Hence the green shirt, Carl. Very smart. And that's why we're here today, actually, because our Dinner guests are Larry Foley and Patrick Moran of the 8-Track Favorites and the Punters, Irish-inspired musicians. And I have two CDs of theirs, actually. The 8-Track Favorites, Live As Than Ever, and the Punters' Songs, A Sunday Morning. Yes, these are a couple of their latest ones, and they've got a great Christmas one as well, by the Good way. Good toe-tapping -to music. Now, uh, these guys are fabulous mus musicians, uh, great friends, and I am going to ask them to perform on the show today. Carl, no, 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 no. Again, you'd be just like inviting me over for dinner and asking me to cook. You can't ask musicians to do that. They're our guests. Well, if I invited you for dinner, I probably would ask you to cook. <laughs> and I'm going to ask these guys to perform for us. Let's They'll play, perform let, let's for us, and I'm going to sing with them. Let's I'm going to sing with them. And there's no karaoke involved, by the way. Karaoke. Oh, karaoke. Anyway, the other reason I like these guys is because they're always there for charity events. You know, they do a lot of stuff for charity. I like the Janeway, for example. Yeah. A couple of years ago, I was involved with an event that they did. Speaking of which, uh, 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 there's a fundraiser happening that Tara Bryan, the artist, is involved with. It's called the Dog's Breakfast Recipe Project. Actually, we submitted a recipe, didn't we? And we actually hand-cranked it on a press, didn't we? That's the whole idea. This is a limited edition collection of recipes, and we helped her print ours. So that was great. You've got a great appetizer there, I do, Carl. Way. I've got uh, partridge berries, I've got baked apples, I've got feta cheese, and what do you have on and your... I can Smell the maple. There's a maple I dressing. Over here, yeah, there's yes. a maple yeah. dressing on this salad. A beautiful, luscious uh, chicken, uh, wal or walnuts, uh, apricots. It's great. I can't wait to dig We've into this. We've got a great three-course adventure, my man. Let's get going. Some chefs will refuse to do a well-done steak. Big mistake. You should always give the customer what he wants. And here we are in the One Chef, One Critic kitchen. Time for the main course. And uh, speaking of the main course, we have Pat Moran and Larry Foley with us today. Uh, two of Newfoundland and Labrador's busiest musicians of the punters, the eight track favorites, and probably, uh, I don't know, half a dozen other <laughs> bands. Yes. <laughs> um, some we probably haven't even heard of yet. Anyway, guys, wel welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Carol. And uh, today, Chef Stephen is going to do something uh, fishy for you. Ooh, Absolutely. Oh. Well, I heard you like guys like cooking with wine as well, so we've got a little <laughs> bit of a dry white wine, you know, that kind of a thing. So what we're going to prepare is uh, some sautéed scallops with uh, tarragon and some cream and white wine, and uh, we're going to be serving that with uh, some rice and some peppers and everything mm -hmm. else. So, so should we start? I think so. I think so. Perfect. So if I can get you to put a little bit of the oil into the frying pan there, don't be... This no, do this one here. That'd be perfect. They cook with wine and sometimes they even put it in their food. No, that's perfect, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And some of, uh, some of that good spyglass butter, if you want to put half of... Where you uh, that one or this uh, This one here as well. Oil and butter. Oil and butter, put it in, don't, don't be shy. What, the whole issue? No, 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 just about <laughs> half of it. No. Half of it? Not no. unless we want to end up in the there health science there, that's, perfect. Unit. that's perfect. That's perfect. That's good. Oh, nice. Look at oh, that. Oh, that's get it close, to close up on that. Nice I did that. In there. And then we'll just put a few scallops in there. Oh yeah, they're going to brown up pretty nice. Yeah. Yes. All we want to do is just caramelize the scallops a little bit. It's not going to take too long for them to, to Here, brown. Here, Pat, push them around a little push bit. Push around. <laughs> Oil um, and butter, that's interesting. Oil and butter. What, what it does, it brings the uh, the cooking point of the butter up a little bit higher by adding the oil to it. So How do you not smell like fish all day after you cook these? <laughs> you don't. No, 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 no whatsoever. You see how nice and brown they're going to be? Yeah. And we want to be careful not to overcook that, you see, so... Oh, The last time Larry and I were together, Larry cooked steak. Uh, did a very good job, by the way. Uh, but the the sauce that he made with it, <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't quite, go right. The sauce didn't quite turn out the way he and I thought it would. And uh, Pat, I understand you've been uh, 
You've been kind of uh, making light of uh, Larry's, uh, Larry's uh, failure to master the art of sauce green. making. What color yeah. was it going to be? It was easy for me to make fun. I, wasn't there. I wouldn't want to be there. There we go. If you want to use the, the spatula there. So, uh, but, but now, Larry, you've, you've, you've you know, gotten a little bit more experience since then. Uh, how, how's your cooking these days? I think it's doing pretty good. Um, I, I find cooking and music a lot alike. You're taking little bits of stuff and making a composition mm -hmm. out of it, so to speak. It's art. But um, mm -hmm. I, I sort of specialize in what's in the fridge right now. And as we're, I was talking to Steve about uh, herbs, or herbs, okay. where you're from. Cilantro. Uh, cilantro, man, I, you can put that in anything, it'll put a taste on. So if you got an onion and some cilantro, you can cook. Oh, absolutely, anything, yeah. I find. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hard so, to go wrong with an onion. So what about you, Pat? You, you, you cook? Yeah, I'm a pork chop man. Chicken legs, oh. pork chops. Okay. And a cast iron yeah. frying pan? And a cast iron frying pan, yeah. Now, are you the type who does like a sauce to go with his pork uh, chops? Or? Whatever I can whip up, you know. Uh, yeah. It's usually a little bit of old garlic and some cream or something nice. like that. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Mm. Yeah. And bologna yeah. on the barbecue. Bit of bologna on the barbecue. Bologna on the barbecue, I'm yeah. I'm telling you. Say yeah, what you like. You know you Apparently like it. it's spectacular. <laughs> and what we can do now, we can start to take them out because now they're nice and golden brown. Yeah. If you're talking to take them out and put them into the, onto nice, the plate there. So, uh, how long have you guys known each other? For, 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 <laughs> I think, uh, what, 14 years now, something like that? Yeah. Really? And yeah. I think it was in, I don't know. When we How'd you meet? Through a common uh, a friend of ours, Jason Whalen. Yeah, oh, I went to high school. Play play Larry. I met him in Ireland. One no, I met him here, and then we hung out in Ireland, and we met Pat through Jason. I heard about Larry for yeah. years. Yeah, I never saw him. I thought he was yeah. <laughs> snuffle up his Who was this guy? Yeah. But uh, when we met, I don't know. When we started playing together, though. I don't know the first time we played together. You were tuning your guitar for two hours. Yeah, something like me. We never still I don't think we did. Didn't we? I just, <laughs> so, I so uh, what do you like about each other? Like what? What do you like about Larry Pat? Pat? Oh, good. Oh, he's a handsome lad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! He has nice guitars. Careful, right? we might we, we might be uh, we might be announcing an engagement here in a minute. But, uh, yeah. Um, what do I like about Larry? But he stays out of my way most of the time. Oh, that's that's what I, like. yeah. I, know, I know when not to call. That's why we still yeah. together. Yeah. And what do you like about Pat, Larry? Uh, he just put a new starter and alternator on my 67 Monaco and oh, new belts. Oh, good for you. <laughs> yeah. Don't show my fingernails. Yeah. So talk about wine. We'll just add a little bit of the wine to the frying pan. Oh, yeah. We are cooking here, aren't we? Well, we'll do it. And what go. kind of a wine is that, Steve? It, it's a dry white wine, and um, I think with the sweetness of the, uh, the scallops, it's really going to draw mm -hmm. the flavor through there, so to speak. Mm. So. Sure will. And um, to that, I'm just going to add a little bit of saffron. I was mentioning to you earlier, yeah. saffron is the center of the iris, yeah. and there's about, uh, well, they tell me, 8,000 uh, centers of the iris, 8,000 irises to make one ounce. So, uh, and that's about $1,000 worth of saffron. <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty close to it, you know. So. Now, I want everybody to know that somebody gave this to Steve. We, we don't have this kind of budget <laughs> no, on No, we don't, show. we don't, that's for sure, that's for <laughs> yeah. sure. So we're gonna do that, and now we'll just add a little bit of Central Dairy's whipping cream. Mm -hmm. uh, no idea where that came product from. Product placement, <laughs> product placement. Yeah. There we go. Now, see if it turns Ooh. pink, because that's what happened to me last time I tried this. <laughs> I had red wine. What what did I, where did I go wrong, Steve? <laughs> I think it was I didn't have it hot enough or something. <laughs> now you can see that started to come through. Beautiful color there. Yeah. I hope this it turns pink. I'll, I'll have my vengeance. Do not adjust your set. <laughs> so that, <laughs> yeah, the color was out. That's what happened. Larry, back to uh, music. Uh, did, do you have, like, Musical genes are, are yeah these ones. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Harold. Sword Ash. Can we just get you to just put a little bit more butter into the cast iron? Are you a butter man? All right, the butter man. Yeah. What we're yeah, going right to do there? Okay, how much this time? Let's get it. Oh, that's good. Right there. That's good. Yeah. Because what we're going to be doing is we've got some uh, beautiful long grain rice boiled there. This is a heart healthy meal, by the way. Mm. Well, it's all natural anyway. It's all natural. natural. It comes from the earth. Of course, it's got to be good. And then we just put the peppers in. Toss it all in? Oh, it? Everything. You know, all it's it. funny. All uh, it. I know a chef, or actually, Steve and I know a chef, and his motto is all butter all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah. natural. There's something to be said for that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Pat, uh, uh, Kelly Russell taught you how to play fiddle. Kelly right? Russell taught me how to play the fiddle. Wow. Yeah. Kelly's the king. Yeah, and Kelly is yeah, the king. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Started in, uh, he taught me in 82, yeah. 1982. Wow. Is when he started. Yeah. Yeah. How old were you in 82, yeah. Pat? <clears throat> I just retired from CN. <laughs> 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 
Uh, <laughs> I was looking for yeah. something to do. Yeah. That was a while back. Yeah. Uh, neat yeah. trick because I think they uh, kind of went out of business in the 70s. Yeah. Didn't they, or something? I feel like stirring this deep. Yeah. Absolutely. Keep on, keep on to it. No, it was a bit sure. later than that. But anyway. Stirring the now. <laughs> and now we can just add some of the tarragon, the fresh tarragon in there. Oh, how much? Oh, all of it? All of it. Put it all nice. in. That's for sure. Wow. Yeah. That's going to give it a little bit of a licorice flavor. That mm. as well. Na, 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 na. I love tarragon. <laughs> Tarragon's great with chicken too. Oh yeah. It says licorice eat. Yeah, it's, yes. it's going to really draw that flavor. That's right, too. it is. It's it's too bad this is not smell of vision because it <laughs> smells. Yeah, mm. yeah the, the chicken, uh, cream, and tarragon. Very, very classic uh, French dish. Of course. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. En français. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. So when you guys now are uh, driving. Um, out to pick up your groceries at Coleman's. Speaking of product placement, <laughs> there you go. You <laughs> can't have one without the other, right? Yeah. Um, we'll have to get all the sponsors in here. Yeah. Realize, realize we that. live at Coleman's. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, what? Uh, what, uh, what kind of music do you listen to on the car radio or whatever? Oh my gosh. That's an easy answer there. Mm. Country and or western. Country music. and or western most mm -hmm. of the time. Uh, you know, whatever is a lot of Irish Newfoundland, of course. Sure, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, old Ryan's Fancy and stuff of yeah, that nature. Yeah, a bit of Merle. Yeah. Merle Haggard and Ryan's yeah, Fancy goes a long way. I know. Yeah. You guys must have known all of the Ryan's Fancy uh, guys, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. luckily. We played and with, yeah, them. Well, with all of them in one form or another. And you yeah. did the tribute to Dermot, didn't you? Yes. Uh, yes. There's yeah. another one coming up in uh, in September at the right. Arts and Culture Centre. Actually, it's really yeah. nice there. Uh, they're uh, working on a bursary to send someone to music school. I see, uh, yeah. The Dermot O'Reilly. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Bursary. Excellent, yeah. That's a great idea. Uh, Steve, what uh, stage are we at now in the uh, I think uh, process? We're, we're almost uh, there with the uh, with the cream, and we can, I think we should start to add the scallops back into back it. Back in? Yeah, back in. Heave them in. Oh, to... gee whiz. Um, My apron. Heave them in. That'll never hurt you. If you just want to check the uh, rice there, Carl, I think it, that's just about done there as well, I think. Okay. Perfect. Man. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah, it is. It's perfect. perfect. And then we're going to add that uh, yep. just before service there. And, uh, and maybe this you just want to turn the, fry, the, the pan back up there. This is just Which regular. Is that uh, uh, that'd be this one here. For the peppers? No, no, for the oh. for the scallops. Oh. I just okay. want to give them a little blast. Uh, this would be just uh, regular long grain rice. It is, yeah. And we're just yeah. plain boiled that's actually with a little bit of uh, okay. chicken stock. Right, yeah. Now you guys have uh, performed your music um, not only in Newfoundland and Labrador and across Canada, but outside of Canada as well. How do people uh, in other parts react to uh, to you know our music? It's universal, it seems. Yeah. That fit, the fiddle goes a long, long way, yeah. mm -hmm. especially with some of the places as yeah. well. As oh, thank you very thank you. <laughs> well, you know, we, we we've been in some odd places, and yeah. you, it'll get you out of a jam every time. Yeah. We, we were in Norway last year, and mm -hmm. uh, we were in Switzerland a few times. Yeah, and it's it's surprising really because you walk in, and it can be daunting, you know, like how yeah. is this going to work? But what's the best reaction? Uh, this is for both of you. What's the best reaction uh, in 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 your life that you've ever gotten from an audience? Ooh, <laughs> on camera. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> unless it's uh, uh, you know, we signed our share of boobs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> I, that's I that's a reaction. And this is, is like yeah. Celtic. Uh, this is the Celtic. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. It sounds absolutely. like a rock. Band <laughs> well, we were a Celtic of, rock uh, band, you see. Yeah, Celtic yeah. rock, yes, Sometimes I suppose are. so. Yes. Yeah. Well, on that note, <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to the cellar and uh, pick out a wine to go with this fabulous uh, dish that Steve's put together for us. So uh, I'll be back and you guys can get the table ready. All right. Carl's cool. got this friend down there, Jeremy. I think he's. I have no idea. He knows about wine, does he, Steve? He knows about wine. I, I think Cal knows about wine, but this, as for this friend... <laughs> They're funny. Carl. Oh, hi, hey. Jeremy, buddy. How's it going? What are you doing? You're checking out my uh, cork collection, smelling right? your corks. They're lovely. Yeah. Anyway, listen, uh, Pat Moran and Larry Foley are upstairs today. Wow. Hunters, yeah, guys great, great guys. Great guys, really funny. Those and awesome. Steve put together this fabulous dish. It's got uh, scallops, it's got cream, saffron, mm, uh, rice with sweet peppers. Uh, oh, and uh, wine. Uh, white, uh, a dry white wine. He's got a dry white wine in there. You're cooking with wine? Yeah. Right now. S yeah. Steve uh, Watson. Uh, right, yeah, he picked the wine. So, it's your show. Right. I'm not allowed to cook. No. I'm supposed to do wine, and Steve's doing wine? You trusted Steve <laughs> Watson to pick wine for you? <laughs> Dry white? No, no, you're no, kidding. You're, 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 look, you're blowing this all out of proportion. I bet you it comes in a box. 
Yeah, well... Let me guess. I got a dry white wine for you here. Probably in a box, probably as cheap as I, you can find. Yeah, well, I yeah. don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't want to go down that Way road. Way to go, Carl. I mean, look, listen, I'm sorry. Uh, Jeremy, I, I, th I thought we had this conversation before. You are the wine expert on the show. Steed is the chef. It's one chef, one critic. Yes. You're doing wine. I understand. Uh, you're not cooking. Build a bridge. Get over it. Now let's move on, okay? All right, now, moving on. I, I need something for this scallop dish. Let's see Steve pick these out. This is Wente. Yeah. Basic entry level, $17 to $18 wine. Mm. California Chardonnay. Buttery, toasty. Oh, good. great. Yep. Scallops. Actually, great there's, with the cream there's sauce. Uh, like tons of butter in this dish. Well, by then the way. you're okay, all so set. Buttery wine with a buttery mm. dish. That sounds good. Next up, <laughs> another Chardonnay. Yeah. In the States from Australia now. Uh, similar okay. style, a little more sweetness sometimes to the uh, Australians, mm -hmm. but this one actually tends to be a very, very nice wine. Lou in the States, haven't again. heard of that one, but anyway, yeah. Okay. And then, top end, this is uh, Mirceau. Mirceau. Yes. Mirceau. Now, Mirceau from Burgundy in France. Mirceau yeah. is the village. 100% mm. uh, Chardonnay, and these are the... This is what everybody wants to strive oh, for yeah. in Chardonnay. Okay. Big, buttery, great with seafood, great with scallops, things like that. Okay, well, you know what? Um, if it were me, I'd probably go with the Merceau. Mm -hmm. uh, but Larry is a great fan of uh, New World wines. Excellent. And uh, you can't beat an Australian Chardonnay. It's a great, great choice. Well, I think uh, you're going to like it better than the wine that Steve picked but, up. But uh, any... Jeremy, tell him listen, hello. come on, come on. It's okay. I'm good. No, I'm fine. Get, I'm going to be down here. Get it together, okay? Please, please, get, get it together. Well, guys, again, we've got the food ready. It's nice and hot. Where's Carl? Looks wicked. Again, <laughs> again, look at him downstairs. <laughs> where am I? Where am I? He's always asking where I am. You know where I am. I'm down in the cellar. Yes, with Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, with Jeremy. Anyway, I was just wondering, uh, you guys, you must record an awful lot, do you? Yes, you, luckily. Yeah? <laughs> that's sort of the... <laughs> oh, I guess that's... So, you sell, you record. You sell, you record. We hope to when you get yeah. them, yeah. It's uh, yeah, much like cooking as well. This is like right. who's on first. <laughs> <laughs> now go ahead and taste these scallops. Uh, Let's have a perfect. Shall see we? See what you think of them. They look absolutely wonderful. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh. All good. All good. You have to taste good. You cooked it. Oh. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Folks, take my word for it. This is. Mm. This you is can mighty criticize fine. my wine selections, but I can't mighty fine this stuff. Food. Mighty fine. <laughs> mm -mm, Delicious, mm -mm. Steve. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm. Taste the saffron. There's a really punchy edge to it, doesn't it? The really expensive yeah. saffron. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, so now, folks, uh, the guys are going to give us a recipe. Actually, it's Larry's recipe, but Pat likes it. Mm. Uh, it's a salmon recipe, go. which is unusual for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's pink, right? Oh, right. Okay, it's pink. Much like, like my uh, yeah. my red wine sauce mm. the last time I was on. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, uh, barbecuing kind of can get, uh, you, you had enough steak, you had enough pork chops, or enough chicken by midsummer. But uh, a salmon, get a nice fillet, mm -hmm. just just cut it diagonally, mm -hmm. or straight across, whatever, uh, down the flank of the, okay. of the fillet, and uh, mix up a little mayonnaise with some lime juice. It's okay. It's a, we're going to put all this on the website. Okay, <laughs> so you don't have to go through the whole Okay, recipe. then. Yeah. Mayonnaise, lime juice, Just too. go to centraldairies.com to the One Chef, One Critic page, and you'll get Larry's recipe and Steve's recipe it was from going today. So well. <laughs> okay, here, cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. Chin chin. Thanks for being on the show. Pat Moran, Larry Foley. For more of Chef Steve Watson's recipes, our recommended wine lists, and guest recipes, log on to centraldairies.com. Have a recipe that you want to share with us? Send it along to onechef.onecritic at rci.rogers.com. Be sure to attach your name, address, and contact number, and you and a guest could be eligible to win a dinner for two at one of our city's finest restaurants. Let us know what you think of the show at 757-9600. To make the perfect rice, add two parts liquid to one part rice. Steve, you know it's amazing that you can get desserts like this here at 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Well, Chef Brian Pearcey and his team will operate 24 hours a day here. What do you have? I've got a beautiful bread and butter pudding with some caramel sauce and some berries and... Oh, very English. Uh, speaking of English, I've got a creme anglaise on my plate here with this beautiful berry tart and some blueberry cream on top. Now, back in the time when this building was constructed, back in these times here, 
They only had the printing press, and that's what we're going to be working with now as we go to Tara Bryan's studio. Well, I'm going to get into my dessert. Here we are. We've got one chef, one critic, one artist. This is Tara Bryan, a well-known visual artist, Newfoundland Labrador, well-known for her evocative landscapes and seascapes. Uh, Tara's also into uh, printing. Um, now, we have aprons on. We're going to be putting a recipe together, definitely, but not in the way that Stephen and I usually put recipes together. Uh, we're actually going to be printing a recipe today here in Tara's studio. And why are we going to be printing a recipe in your studio, Tara? This is for a special project. It is. The Book Arts Association of Newfoundland and Labrador is having a Ways Goose this, uh, this October. And we've asked a number of artists, writers, musicians, broadcasters, Motley Crue to put to contribute recipes for a portfolio sort of piece of recipes. Now Tara, Car uh, Carl and myself, we've written a recipe. It's called a Swiss chicken with a salsa. And I understand you don't like hard to the food recipe. What about the other recipes that you're looking for? Well, we've invited people to contribute whatever kind of recipe they want. So it could be an imaginary recipe for the perfect vacation. Um, David Morris, who teaches at Grenfell, said he would contribute his recipe for chunky cat vomit. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, I certainly hope that you separate that recipe well away from our recipe for Swiss chicken with salsa. We'll do our best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, uh, just explain to us uh, how, how this is all going to, to work. You've got this press here, which looks quite ancient, actually. Do you have any idea how old it is? I think it's about 60 years old, but they, they produced these presses into the 1960s. Um, they're made specifically to proof type for newspapers. Um, so it's made to print something that is 0.918 inches high, and it's great for printing uh, lino cuts, engravings, wood engravings, any kind of relief print where the surface is inked. It's pretty, uh, pretty uh, amazing to think that there was a time when whole newspapers, books, and even the Bible were, uh, were put together like this. It's very labor-intensive, isn't it? It's very labor-intensive. Every piece of type is one piece of metal, and you take each piece of type and each piece of sta spacing and line them all up the way you want them, and then fiddle around with them on the press to get it to look right. So it's not like I do it with a computer and spell check? There's no spell check There's involved? There's no spell check. Uh, all proofreading? All proofreading. So we've gone from uh, this being sort of a trade to being an art form now. Yes. Why is it an art form? Um, a lot of um, commercial people have, have dumped their presses in the last 40 or 50 years, and gone, now they're doing straight from computer to, to uh, offset. Um, and because you can do any kind of relief printing on it, a lot of artists have picked them up, and book arts people, because you can print your own book. Now, Tara, tell us exactly what Stephen and I are going to be doing for you today. We've, we've given you the recipe, which, frankly, I thought was enough. But anyway, you're, you're <laughs> actually going to put us to work here. Well, one of the requirements is you either have to set the type or crank the press. So you're going to be cranking the press. And it's hand-fed one sheet at a time. Um, the rollers on the press ink the type. And then the grippers release the paper at the end of the press, and you start over again. I think it's time for us to get our hands dirty then, Carl. I think so. <laughs> That's very good, Carl. And uh, Tara, thank you very much for inviting us into your studio today. Mm. This dessert was great. Now, I wanted the guys to sing. I took them down to the basement to look at my karaoke machine. I didn't want to do karaoke. But, despite you, I got them to play for us. I had a good time, but I still feel a bit cheesy. You work for a dairy. <laughs> Join us next week for One Chef, One Critic. Oh,